Hi guys, this is Peter with Carries.net again. This is one video out of six reviewing browsers for the Android system. Uh, the six browsers that we're reviewing are the Android Stock Browser, Dolphin HD, Opera Mini, Layer, Fennec, and Skyfire. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Skyfire, so let's jump into it. Okay, so this is not the normal screen you're going to see when you go into Skyfire, but I wanted to load it in a couple other windows just to give you guys an idea of what Skyfire is like. So at the top, you're going to notice a URL bar, a refresh button that will turn into a stop button, just like on all browsers, a back button, a bookmarks button, a Windows management button. That little guy second to the right is a half computer screen, half picture of Android. That switches you between your user agents, so it's a really convenient way to oops, switch from browser view of an Android phone to browser view of a desktop view, so that's really convenient. Scrolling around the page gives you your normal uh, magnification buttons. Again, this, like most browsers, has the pinch zoom. Uh, doing the menu on this guy is actually going to bring up something different. So on the bottom, you're going to notice video, explore, and share. Now, video makes it so that if you see a video on a screen, you can watch it independently rather than having to kind of wade through everything and having a lot of stuff load. Explore is something that kind of aggregates a topic from news, from searches, kind of all together. You guys can kind of play around with that. For, for example, it has these subjects on here, so let's just try AT&T to kind of show you guys what that's like. Okay, so as you can see, it has a, a video of ads. It has a finance, which is the green. Sorry, this is kind of hard to hold up front. Um, it also has a message from an always Kana. Um, it has images, it has more videos, it has more finance. So again, this is kind of like a news, I don't know, it's kind of in integrating an RSS feeder into your browser or if you want to search a subject and want really fast, more intuitive ways to browse a subject than just watching, um, you know, or just searching on Google and then wading through all of that. So at the top you can change to just videos. Oh, excuse me, that wasn't finance earlier, that was trends. So um, you can look up trends, you can look up tweets, you can look up images. Um, kind of an interesting take on the searching experience. Definitely something that's different. And if you like this, it's going to be solely available through your Skyfire. So let's go back to the main page, though. Um, Again, this one does not have any hard swipes right to left. These are all the options that you're going to see on the screen. So uh, again, when you click your little Android uh, desktop thing, you can load page as Android or desktop or default. Uh, let's go into settings. To, oh, let's first go into window management. This one's really easy. Um, one of the easiest ones I've seen. You just kind of scroll between windows. Um, it shows you what window you're on on the bottom. If you can see that white dot moves. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Let's try it again. There we go. Um, and then again, you can click the X on ones. It explains the title. It explains the web address. Um, you can kind of see a quick preview. You can do a new tab down on the bottom right. Or if you click done, you just go back to the window that you started on. Uh, bookmarks, again, very easy, very easy, very easy to use. Um, it has your history at the top as well. Um, back to bookmarks. You can hold down on bookmarks, you know, open a new window, edit it, add shortcut to home, share link, copy, delete, set as home page. Kind of the same options that you get in Dolphin. Again, this is a great browser. Uh, let's go back now. Okay, so let's go into settings. So um, the forward button, which is interesting, is in the settings button. It's not on the toolbar. If you you can remember when we first looked at it, that is the back button, and to get to the forward button, you do have to go into this more option. Same as home, find on page, select text, add shortcut to home, share the page, setting, downloads, and reporting problems. So let's go into settings. Um, again, pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty standard stuff. Enable toolbar, keep screen on, you know, it says the version, send feedback. Uh, legal information, uh, privacy and security is pretty standard, just like on all the things having to do with cookies, location access, form data, caches, remember passwords. Let's go back. Uh, browser settings, again, enabling plugins, um, the initial zoom when you load web pages, your start page, your 
Load pages as, again, this is the Android or the desktop client, if you can read that. Sorry, it's kind of a little bit far away. away. Um, again, load images, JavaScript, pop, block pop-up windows, set as default browser, all the standard stuff. Um, and so this is Skyfire. Again, another great alternative to the stock browser on Android. Um, it has that really unique explore feature plus the really unique video feature. Uh, all in all, a great browser, clicking at the top, gives you history, gives you bookmarks. Also, what's not available on other ones is it gives you the microphone search. Um, and then again, you just click on it to edit, pretty standard stuff. So this is Skyfire. Again, this review is for carace.net. If you want to see the other five videos, look us up on YouTube under carace, otherwise the article on carace.net reviewing them will all have the videos embedded. You can follow us on Twitter, just type in carace and you'll find us. Uh, leave a comment below if you like the video review, leave a comment if there's something that you want me to include to update the video with, or just leave a comment um, of anything else. So thanks again for watching and hopefully you had fun. The last browser that we're going to do is Layer and it's kind of a half browser so stay tuned for that video as well. Thanks.